throughout the preseason. You're one of the guys that's really stood out like um, I mean, I would just say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting in my groove. I'm getting in my groove. And uh, Dak seeing me a lot more, uh, you know, with Amari being out right now, uh, you know, that can help us out, you know, get our chemistry going. And then when he comes back, you know, it should be a good time. How much different are you from your rookie season? I mean, you look, you look comfortable in your rookie season, but you look even more comfortable now. Yeah, um, I mean, it's just, you know, growing pains, you know, coming in as a rookie, uh, you know, going through, you know, what I went through and uh, just a bunch of uh, different things that, you know, add up. But uh, you, you figure them out your second year and then uh, you work on them. So that's what I've been doing. Last year, you guys didn't win any preseason. You just went out to have a very good year. So it's not a prerequisite for having a good year. But to have a couple under your belt here, W's, the psyche and the morale of the team, I mean, I've got to think that means something, does it? Oh yeah, definitely going into your first game. I mean, you know, you won a couple now. Uh, you just want to keep carrying that momentum. So I think that's what we uh, intend to do. So it should be a good year for us. Uh, the, the play, the touchdown play, with Dak, uh, take us through that a little bit. Uh, I actually had a fade, and uh, you know, I seen Dak. He scrambled out the pocket, so I had to find an open spot. So you know, I just cut it hard, and he threw the ball. I had to make him right. After the first series where it was three and out, like how important was it to at least leave with a good taste in your mouth, so to speak? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I was I was on the sideline with Dak. I was asking him about the uh, first the first uh, pass he threw me. He said I was just off target on that one. So uh, we came back out there, and he was on target the next one. So how, do you, how do you use something like today as a confidence builder, but also kind of keep in check that this was just one game? How do you kind of find the balance between the two? Uh, I think you should. I think you should keep it in the back of your mind. I mean, it is a preseason game, so it's not like you know you're going full tilt the whole time. Uh, not all the starters are playing the whole time, so I mean, I think you should keep that in the back of your mind. But uh, to go out there and you know compete and do what you're supposed to do and make sure everything's right, uh, I think you should keep that in too. So. Any play with Dak is a good one, right? But when it's a scramble-ish situation, <laughs> does that speak more to? The connection that you guys have that you can kind of okay i know where i gotta go when he's outside the pocket and where he what he's looking for oh yeah definitely uh i mean we actually work on him in practice uh when that gets out of the pocket you know you have a landmark that you need to get to and uh i think us doing that after practice and stuff like that i think that helps us a lot in the games because Dak is a mobile quarterback he's going to do that you know a pretty good bit so i think we need to be ready for it was that tonight's situation too is that what kind of happened yeah tonight because uh you know mine was actually a fade but it was a nine ball so after you know you don't get it right off the bat uh you go into scramble mode so that's what Dak did for us that we talked about no matter where the ball is you want to make your quarterback right like that's your thing in hawaii so after those couple early pass throws and then you come back with the touchdown. Is that what you feel like you're doing? Uh, definitely. We were on the sideline, and I was I was in his head. He was in my head, and we were trying to figure out what we need to do. Uh, you know, the first one was a little bit behind me. He said that's on him, and the second one I got jammed up on. So we were like, we were both in the wrong. So we was like, the next drive we got to get it. So uh, that's what we did. What was the conversation after the touchdown? After the touchdown, he was like, that's how you get open. <laughs> <laughs> so. Mike, how much, of, how much do you pride yourself on your consistency this camp? It just doesn't seem like you've had any down days or down games. Uh, I mean, you know, you, you're always going to have some down days, down games, whatever. But um, I think, you know, for me, just knowing that I'm going to have those days and then coming back and getting them the next day, uh, I think that's a big thing for me. Last year, you know, if I had a bad day, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't as, you know, on myself, I guess. Uh, this year, you know, if I have a bad day, I gotta watch the film and then I gotta come back harder the next day. So I think that's what I've been doing a lot better. I mean, you kind of answered that, but it just it seems like you've been better about that this year as opposed to last year. Oh yeah, um, I mean, like I said, you know, last year it, it, I didn't know how to really handle it because in college, you know, I had I had a good day every day. It was it was different for me. Um, but you know, coming in here, you're gonna have down days, so you gotta make sure you can pick yourself up. How do you how do you view the preseason in general? Um, do you feel like it's too much, too many games, too much? How do you feel about it? Is this right? Um, I mean, I think it's just right for us. I mean, you get a you get a certain amount of plays, but I think it's really more for the young guys. You know, we got to see what the young guys can do, what they can bring to the table as well. So, uh, I think I think it's fine. Uh, I go in there and do what I'm supposed to do, and then I come sit out. You know, so I think it's perfectly fine. In a, in a preseason situation where you're being cautious with Amari, you get to be the number one receiver. How valuable are those reps for you? Uh, I mean, they're they're obviously we don't want Amari out. You know, we we love Amari around here. But, um, you know, for me and Dak, you know, to get that chemistry right, uh, I think it's worked out uh, pretty good for us. We just hope Amari comes back 100%.